Do you think that there's too much emphasis on the dots? Well, okay, so in terms of uh, priority one, as we wrote, that was with regards to the balance sheet discussions. The Fed's real focus is going to be what do they want to do with the overall setting of interest rate policy? How long do they want to keep rates at current levels? And how much restrictiveness are they comfortable exerting on the economy? Those are the big questions that they have to ask right now. So the market, in our view, is right to focus its attention on the dot plot, keeping the balance sheet secondary. But slowing QT, when they think about all the considerations around the balance sheet, that is indeed the number one priority that they have there. Now, on the dots, the big question is, are they going to show three cuts or two cuts uh, for their expected 2024 outlook. And that's going to have, we think, a pretty notable rate market response either way, because the market is quite divided on this. You talked about the fund manager survey that Michael Hartnett does. We do our own survey of really rates and FX clients. And when we ask them their expectation for the dot plot, 68% say that they think that the Fed will keep three cuts for this year, so 75 basis points of total rate cuts this year. Now, that's that, that survey closed about a week ago. That has probably shifted a little bit. As you look at how much the market is taking out Fed rate cuts for this year, the fact that the June meeting is now right around 50-50 in terms of whether the Fed will go or not. So the responses that we got suggest that maybe the market is closer to 60-40 in terms of investors thinking that they'll show three cuts versus two cuts. But that's going to be the big question. And the market's going to respond in either direction, we think. If <clears throat> they only show two cuts, not the B of A economics base case, but if they only show two cuts for this year, so they take out one cut, we think that the two-year will sell off 10 basis points. We think you'll see the curve bear flatten. We think you'll see the dollar rally. And we think you'll probably see risk assets take it on the chin to some extent. And that is because the market's going to be questioning, well, how accommodative is the central bank really yep. going to be? If they show three cuts, as they had in December, and as our economists expect that they will, we think that the two-year will probably rally by five basis points, curve will bear steepen, and you'll sort of see dollar weaken and risk on. Um, so it is a bit of a pivotal point, we think, for markets. Um, and I know I've been talking for a while, so feel free to cut me off. But Lisa, you asked before, how long until the, uh, the, the equity market catches up with the bond market? And I do wonder, to some extent, how long before the bond market actually catches up with the equity market? Because you can look at price action and say, oh, well, monetary policy is just way too easy, and rates are too low, and that's why the equity market is doing this. When I talk to our equity market folks who occupy this space as well, what they say is, Mark, we kind of don't care about interest rates. Have you seen the growth profile of these companies? Have you yeah. seen how strong the economy is running? Jonathan, you talked about that fund manager survey, right? All these like super strong growth, risk appetite very high. They just don't think that whether or not you have tens at, let's say, 430 or tens at 475, maybe even 5%, really disrupts the investment narrative. And that is a real question that the market's going to have to rebalance. Um, and I do wonder if the bond market might have to rebalance to what the equity market's telling. 